Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am back with a very glamorous look this time. So without waiting any further, let's dive right into the creation process. Using a hairband to move the hair away from my face. I want to begin by moisturizing my face. I do not like to use a cream based moisturizer. Here I am using Karma Rose Water Spray. I just love this guys. This is so hydrating and so refreshing. It's unbelievable. Let's move on to the base makeup now. I will be using these two foundations today. <laughs> I'm going to use a damp beauty blender to put on my base makeup and I'm just blending these two foundations very nicely together and in simple dabbing motions I'm putting on the foundation using a damp beauty blender. Just putting on the foundation very nicely on every part of my face. I love covering my lips too. Do you guys do that? <laughs> so yes, I am just dabbing the foundation layer by layer. I want to build a nice uniform tone all over my face. Covering the area under my eyes. And I love putting it over my eyes too. It works as a base for my eyeshadow. And yes, just blending, blending, and blending. Just to make sure that the foundation doesn't look very cakey and superficial, I believe in blending it very nicely. So now I'm going ahead with this foundation brush by pack and I'm going to blend it more nicely till it looks very uniform and very smooth. Moving on to concealing now, I'm going to use this concealer by LA Girl Pro and I'm going to apply this using my beauty blender. And yes, just going to apply it under my eyes and uh, wherever I think I need it. Just blending it very nicely with the foundation. And I love how the concealer can give you the brightest under eyes ever. And this concealer is magic. I'll also be using a little concealer on my chin on my forehead too and I am just dabbing it very nicely so that it blends in really well with the foundation and going in with the brush again just to smoothen out the texture and the blending and yes we are done. Using this setting powder by Lakme, I am going to set my base and I am just going to apply it under my eyes and on the areas where I had applied the concealer. Applying the finishing powder very generously under my eyes and also on my chin. applying it on my forehead too and you want to apply it on all the areas which you want to highlight and I'll be applying it on my jawline too there you go and yes I think I am good to move on to the next step now Taking my favorite contouring palette by NYX and going in with my favorite warm brown color, I'm gonna paint my cheekbones now. Going on to the other side now, I am simply blending this prettiest brown color on my face. And again, you want to make sure that the contouring lines are not very harsh. So simply blend, blend and blend.
Moving on to contouring my nose, I am using a round tipped fluffy brush to contour my nose and with that same warm brown colour, I am drawing the contouring lines on the sides of my nose. Very gently, I am blending the colour so that the contouring lines do not look very harsh. Time to brush away the excess setting powder. And the base is done. Time to move on to the eye makeup. So I did my one eye off camera and I'd be doing the other on camera now. Taking this Take Me Back to Brazil palette and using this sea green color, I'll be applying it all over my lid. I'm simply following the natural shape of my eyes and I'm going in with this color all over my lid next I'd be taking these shades of blue and I'm mixing them together to create a color for my crease I am simply depositing this pretty blue color on my crease layer by layer using to and fro movements Going back in with some more aquamarine blue color and making sure that the crease looks deep and vibrant. Adding more color whenever necessary. And yes, just like that we are done here. Now taking this blue shimmer shade by pack and going to use this just on the corner of my eye it's a very pretty sparkly sky blue color and i'm using my finger to apply it next taking this makeup revolution palette and using this white shimmer shade i am just gonna place this on my brow bone and on the areas which i want to highlight on my eye I'm using the same white shimmer shade to soften the edges of my eye makeup and using a round tipped fluffy brush I am simply buffing the harsh lines of my makeup. Now taking this copper shimmer eyeshadow by pack I'm gonna place it over my lid using my finger just like that. This is a very pretty copper shimmer shadow and it's a cream based shadow and applying it with finger is much easier than applying it with a brush. So that's what I'm doing right now. Applying it very generously just like that and we are good to go. Taking in some more white eyeshadow. I'm just placing it on the corner of my eyes. This is to brighten up the whole eye makeup. And next I'm gonna use this white pencil on my waterline. I'm simply gliding this white color all over my lash line and I'm also gonna use it on the corners of my eyes. This is again to just brighten up the whole eye look. And yes, we are done with both the eyes now. Now it's the time to put on some liner. I'm using this liquid eyeliner by Pack today and I am going to keep the liner very simple and elegant and I'm not going to wing it today. Applying it very closely to the lash line. Also making the edges a little pointy. I love to apply the liner like that. And yes, we are done here. Now it's the time for brows. Using my two very trusted eyebrow products, I am now going to fill my eyebrows using this eyebrow pencil. I am simply coloring my brows and filling in the gaps ever so slightly.
Now with the help of this brush, I am simply smudging the color that had been deposited by the eyebrow pencil on the brows and now taking my favorite eyebrow mascara, I am gonna set the hair of my brows. It also leaves a very pretty dark brown tint on the brows which I simply love. I am done here, yes. Now is the time to use some mascara and taking my favorite mascara here, I am just gonna apply it on my lashes. This makes my lashes super black and super long which I simply love. Don't forget to get your lower lashes too. And yes, just like that, we are done with the mascara here. Moving on to the blush now. I'm taking this pack eyeshadow today for my blush and you'll see why. This peach eyeshadow gives a very nice flushed color to the cheeks and I simply love using it as a blush. Yes, look at that color. Moving on to the highlighter now. Today I'm gonna be using this liquid highlighter and just taking a few drops and applying it using my beauty blender. Applying it on my cheekbones first. Just like that, dabbing it on. Applying some more using my fingers. Applying some highlighter on the bridge of my nose and the tip of it too. Applying some on the chin too using my beauty blender and also a little on the cupid's bow and that's it time for some lipstick now i love using a lip balm before applying a matte lipstick and the lipstick that i'm gonna wear today is a liquid lipstick by pack the shade is called truffle and it's a very pretty brown matte color it's a very quick drying lipstick and is my absolute favorite I generally don't use a lip liner while applying liquid lipsticks and I tend to use the wand to line my lips very carefully. Just filling in some more color very generously and yes I am done here I guess oh yes definitely I'm done look at that smile <laughs> and now it's the time to put on some lashes these are my absolute favorite lashes by pack I'm also applying mascara to them and yes, with this we come to the end of this glamorous makeup look. So I hope that you loved this very glamorous makeup look and also enjoyed watching my video. If yes, then what are you waiting for? Please hit the like button right now and subscribe to my channel right away. Time to finish off the look by spraying some setting spray and that's it.